What you see behind us is uh, part of the team uh, working on the space projects here are uh, assembling an experiment that we're sending to the space station early next year. Uh, it will demonstrate the uh, new technologies required for a form of electric propulsion that we're developing here. Uh, the electric propulsion tests are primarily on the ground, but the key technology to make that system work is a kind of very powerful magnet and its power supply that have never been demonstrated in space. There have been uh, superconductors in space before, but not of the type that we need and not operated by this power supply, which is a, a key enabling technology for this work. So there are a lot of applications. The one we're focusing on right now is a, a class of electric propulsion. So this is, a, this is a kind of rocket you use once you're in space. It's not very powerful in that the force is very small, but it's extremely efficient in how it uses fuel. So once you get into space and there's no friction, Instead of running your, you know, if you ran a chemical rocket, you might run fire for tens of seconds or, or even maybe tens of minutes. Um, this you will run for weeks or months or years, but it will get by with a tiny fraction of the fuel that a traditional rocket would. So it enables a class of missions that just wouldn't be practical if you, because of the amount of fuel you would normally have to carry. Uh, if you want to move large amounts of cargo to the moon, to Mars, uh, NASA has just recently launched a mission out to the asteroid belt that was only possible with electric propulsion. Uh, and the kind of electric propulsion we're developing has the potential to be more efficient than the current uh, technology that's being used in space. It's been a huge uh, development path uh, for the materials um, and the, the team here back in the you know, 80s and 90s made some key discoveries in those materials. Um, they worked uh, internationally with collaborations with, um, in particular, American wire manufacturers to develop these materials. And in the early days, of course, there were a lot of problems with them. Uh, you know, so a lot of engineering problems around the wire and manufacturing had to be solved. Because the materials have to be very well aligned, it's almost like they have to be a single crystal of the material over those 100 metre lengths. And uh, they're not quite a single crystal, they're, they're multi-crystals, but they're, they're all very well aligned and have to be grown very carefully. So the growth conditions of those crystals uh, has to be very carefully controlled. It launches uh, tentatively, if they hold their launch date, early, uh, early next year, uh, late February is what we're targeting. We'll be going up on a cargo mission operated by SpaceX. Uh, as part of the, the exchange of uh, cargo and scientific equipment with the space station. Uh, certainly for us to have a project uh, sending a magnet to space is you know, a huge highlight uh, for the Institute you know, and, and sort of is a nice capstone for, for those years of development or at least a, a, you know, a huge milestone. Very excited. It's been a great team.